Here is another problem that some of our viewers have had lately, and that is figuring out exactly where the stair stringers need to be positioned to prevent the stairway from sticking past the edge of a wall. And the reason for that 99.9% .9 of the time is because they did not allow for the thickness of the stair riser from the position of the wall framing floor framing or ledger that the stairway is going to connect to at the top. So a lot of times if the floor plan has a measurement of 36 inches here, that's usually where the wall framing is going to be positioned. And then if you have six 10 inch wide treads that's usually going to occupy an area of 60 inches and this is usually how the stair framing is going to be laid out when in fact you're going to need to move it back you're going to need to move the stair stringers back the thickness of the riser so I'm going to leave these lines here so you can see what we're doing and since our risers are three quarters of an inch thick, we're going to reposition the framing, whether it's going to be a wall or a wall with a ledger or a stairway that's going to connect directly to the floor joist. And this is going to be a very difficult thing to fix if you end up making the mistake. So pay attention and if you have to, watch the video a couple of times until you can wrap your mind around this. Now, what if you have a nosing on the stairs? Well, you guessed it. You're going to have to move the flight of stairs back even further. So not only will you need to deduct for the thickness of the riser, you will also need to deduct for the length of the overhang. And in our case here, we have a one inch overhang, three quarter inch thick risers. So we will need to move our wall framing back an inch and three quarters to end up with the measurement that we're going to need for our floor landing on the plans along with the six 10 inch treads that we're going to be using and hopefully this makes sense if it does not for some reason then i would suggest watching the video again and if for some reason it still doesn't make sense feel free to leave any questions you might have about the video in the comment area and thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to visit our website. We have an organized list of our videos there. You might have a difficult time finding that anywhere else.